And here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode number six of the Texans franchise. We're coming off a heartbreaking loss last episode. However, we're looking to bounce back and we got a tough matchup on paper, but the Las Vegas Raiders are actually only one in four. It looks like to be struggling even after the additions of Chandler Jones, Devontae Adams. Can we take advantage? But the bigger news, did you guys see what I saw? We have a breakout running back after Damian Pierce put in his best performance of the season so far. Madden decides to reward him and we get him a breakout. Our OC says, how do you feel about Damian Pierce's last game? That guy has a serious nose for the end zone, even though he doesn't have one rushing touchdown this year yet, but he's got two in the air. Damian Pierce, of course, who we actually made a star last video because a lot of you guys said that he actually got updated to star in real life. So this will actually be for him to go up to superstar and all he needs to do is get three touchdowns all he needs to do three touchdowns and 150 receiving plus r rushing yards i don't know why i said that backwards it's gonna be tough to do but hopefully we can just get some goal line opportunities and just feed him the ball and hopefully get his first of the year <laughs> but with not much in the news let's go ahead and check out some standings some stats this season as we're almost about halfway through the season now let's just go division by vi division starting in the afc north where the ravens are five and one so far leading this division steelers actually had a four and two with trubisky interesting the browns whose pick we do have and they do not have deshaun watson who is suspended for another four games so three and three records so far with jacoby Brissett under center not bad and the Bengals, who are currently struggling hard in real life actually struggling in our franchise as well at just a two and four record wow super bowl hangover is real and then our division the afc south the colts are leading the way at a four and two record but with them at the top is the jaguars who stole one off us last week they're both at a four and two record the titans three and two and we're sitting here at a two and three bottom of the division everybody else over 500 man of course we're not expected to be competing for the playoffs or competing to win the division but man i, I don't want to be last though afc east and it's all tied up at the top with the bills patriots and and Dolphins at a 3-3 three and three record, and the Jets, even after acquiring Brandon Cooks from us, have lost another two games since 0-6 now, and the panic is real. The coach is on a hot seat, and Zach Wilson is getting questioned. AFC West, and it's the Chargers leading the way with a 5-1 and one record. They're having a great year. Justin Herbert under center. Chiefs 4-2, and two, and then the Raiders, who were playing 1-4, and, and then the Broncos. The Raiders aren't even last in their division. It's the Broncos, 1-5, who have looked quite underwhelming in real life so far. 1-5, Russell Wilson. Let's, Let's ride. ride. Well, we beat them too, huh? We beat them in week two. But the NFC North, we got the Packers, of course, leading the way. No surprise there at a 4-2 and two record. Vikings, 2-4. and four. This division is terrible. The Bears are 0-6, and they're not on the bottom. The bottom is the Detroit Lions at an 0-5 record. Can I be in that division? NFC South, and it's the two Lovebirds up top. Evans came off, and he just... With the Buccaneers and the Saints. Saints leading the way, though. 5-1 and one record. Bucks at a 4-2. and two. Panthers 2-5. And, and the Falcons, only one win on the season with Mariota. Is it Desmond Ritter time? Remember, they don't have Calvin Ridley as well, who I made only a 70 overall. And we'll get him back next year because he's got a service suspension as well, even though... Don't really know how it's more than Deshaun Watson's. The NFC East, Cowboys, 4-2, leading the way there. Eagles at a 3-3 three and three record. Commanders, 3-3. Three and three, And the Giants at a 2-4 and four on bottom. This division seems quite competitive. And last but not least, the NFC West, where the Niners are taking the reign. Number one seed in the entire NFC at a 6-0 and o record. Is that Jimmy G or is it Trey Lance? Made Trey Lance get better in real life, man. Just broke his ankle, unfortunately. I was so excited to watch him this year, man. But the Rams, Super Bowl champions. 4 and 2 record Cardinals 4 and 2 as well and the Seahawks 3 and 3 what a division and then for the passing leaders we got Brady leading on top with Russell Wilson and Dak Prescott behind him rushing leaders Jonathan Taylor Austin Eckler who both killed me when we played them earlier and of course Nick Chubb receiving leaders is none other than Coop Cup Keenan Allen and Tim Patrick actually in third they're interesting sack leaders and would you look at that it's the two Watt brothers with 9 and 8 respectively and then Josh Allen who had like 8 of those on me last week it was tough scenes out there. Interceptions leader is Marlon Humphrey with six. Cameron Sutton, Zayvon Collins, four and three themselves. And then tackle leaders goes to Jermaine Pratt, Matt Milano, and Jonathan Abram. Davis Mills, who I feel like plays a lot better than what these stats may say, but stats are pretty ugly. I won't lie. 1,600 yards from 111 out of 174 pass attempts. 13 touchdowns to 14 interceptions. More interceptions than touchdowns is not what we want around here. We got to change that. Damian Pierce, who of course has the breakout this game, is having a decent year. Of course, last week broke away for 130. Over 4.4 carry, 500 yards for him. Now still no rushing touchdowns, but hopefully we can get him three. And then receiving leaders, it's of course John Mechie leading the way with 430. 
131 yards, three touchdowns for him. Elijah Moore, who we just recently picked up, only has played one game for us so far. He's at 350 and two touchdowns. Chris Conley, who I swear put up these stats in one game. Maybe I should start feeding him more, especially with Nico Collins actually out now. He's going to get his opportunity too. Brevin Jordan, who had a great game last week as well, 267 and two touchdowns for him. Nico Collins, two touchdowns, under 200 yards. Sucks to lose him for another six weeks. And then Damian Pierce, who's been really good through the air for us as well. Offensive line, who's given up the most sacks? Lermy Tunsil with six there and Titus Howard with two. Other than that, everybody's been good. AJ can. It says zero there, but I swear he's the worst player I've ever seen. And then defensively, where it's Christian Harris leading us with tackles made with 45 there. And then tackle for loss is also Christian Harris with 11. Kirksey right behind him with seven. Blacklock. Jerry Hughes with six and five there. QB sacks goes to Ross Blacklock with three and a half as well as Jerry Hughes. Pressure hasn't been too much. Where is Jonathan Grenard? Does he... Wait, what? Jonathan Renard has not done too much. He was like my, one of the players I was most excited to have, but no sacks. I might have to change something up. Maybe something got changed up. Derek Stingley, three interceptions, three pick sixes. He has been phenomenal as I accidentally switched to the kickers there. Derek Stingley has been so good, though. Had a pick six last week as well. Steven Nelson, who's been solid, two picks for him. And then Murray and Kruger Hill. And what is going on? Because I swear I changed these up last week. Grenard is at rush right end with Jerry Hughes here. Blacklock, Rasheem Green. Grenard just, I, I guess he just hasn't done too much. And by nothing too much, I mean nothing at all. Weekly game plan go now. We got Derek Carr and the Raiders. And it looks like where he's excelling the most is the short pass. But is Josh Jacobs doing too much? Their average rush yards per game is actually 31st in the league. Keep it on short pass then. And then for our offense, throw it medium has been really good for us. I'm really scared of this pass rush though with Max Crosby, Chandler Jones. So... I think I might switch it up this week. Go blitz counter. And then for our goals, let's do two passing touchdowns for Davis Mills. Remember last week when I said 14 points because it's probably going to be an ugly interdivisional game and we give up 40 and blow a lead. Not great, not great. I'm going to do a lot of 24, though. This Raiders team has some weapons, to say the least. Offensively, 350, though. We need a big game from Damian Pierce. If we do want to win, Davis Mills got to do crazy stuff as well. And then for the head coach goal, win turnover battle. Sure. And please, no injuries in these training sessions. I might have to go like a half pass or something, which is something I keep forgetting about because we're low-key starting to get some fatigue now. We're, we are off our bye week, so we should be good. But we've been getting injuries really often in these. But luckily, it looks like we got nothing this week, which is... Great to see. And for some upgrades, we got Derek Stingley Jr., new addition, Makai Becton, Jalen Petrie, who had a solid game last week. Nico Collins, Davis Mills is here. Damian Pierce, the breakout man. And Elijah Moore. Let's start with Elijah Moore, who we are playing in the slot right now, but I think I'm going to just keep doing playmaker. Should get him up another rating as it does. He's up to an 81 overall with the morale there, and we get some good route running all around. Derek Stingley Jr., man, who's just been so good for us. His man is up to an 82 now. Let's just keep working on that zone, which is quite low at a 72 overall. So let's do that. Gets him actually up to an 80 overall with morale now and gets me plus three zone. Lovely. Makai Becton's got one as well. And I think I'm going to keep doing pass protector here. He do unfortunately does not go up a rating, but I, I saw him get beat a few times last game. So let's get that up. Petrie, who's been solid for us so far as a rookie safety out of Baylor. Of course, let's go ahead and do hybrid. Gets him up another overall, up to 75 now. And we get plus one speed, which is just perfect. Davis Mills, Davis Mills, Davis Mills. What do we need to work on? His short accuracy is actually really good. I think we can just need to work on that deep, that medium, maybe that throw power as well. So I think the only thing that makes sense here is strong arm. He does go up to 73 overall, which is nice to see. And we get throw power plus one and throw accuracy medium. And Damian Pierce. Hopefully we get a big day from him today as he gets an upgrade up to a 73 overall now as we do elusive back for him and it gets him plus one acceleration. That's going to come in handy today. And then last but not least, Nico Collins actually out only five more weeks because of the bye week, right? I'm going to do playmaker just because it's the best thing to do for receivers. Gets that route running up so, so much, which is what Nico Collins need. And it also gives him some speed as well. That ain't hurt. And the rest of these guys will get the auto. And before we head in, let's, of course, spin for our playbooks. Last week, we had the Packers offensive playbook that really wasn't too bad. But, man, I was getting cooked on defense. We're going to have the Buffalo Bills offense, which should be a lot of fun because super one of the most high-powered, if not the most high-powered offenses in the league. So that Sean McDermott playbook should be fun. And then defense, we're going to get the Denver Broncos who are known for having a stingy defense. And we now have the Buffalo Bills offensive playbook as well as the Denver Broncos defensive playbook. And let's go ahead and get into this game against the Raiders where they have an 82 overall squad, but only one win to show for it this year. We're a 76, but we got two to show for it, baby. So let's try to take another one from them. And kickoff is on its way here in Las Vegas. All I got to say is I hope none of my players were doing anything too crazy last night. 
as we get ourselves a decent return here with Dorset as he gets absolutely flattened. Davis Mills, I expect a good game from you today, my guy. Let's go. Although some costly mistakes and some bad incompletions last week by Davis Mills, he's always going to have my backing as long as we're here in Houston. Damien Pierce starts it off with two yards. Second and eight now. Looks like we got Elijah Moore for a quick first down right away. I would love to get him more involved this week. Three catches last week, just not enough. Fresh set of downs. Can we get out wide with Damian Pierce? Unfortunately, it's a great, great tackle. On a second and nine now, running a little play action here. We got Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore through the middle. That is a lovely ball by Davis Mills. He gets me a good chunk of yards. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. 150 yards is a ton to ask for for Damian Pierce this year. Oh, man. Oh, my God. And I've done it again. That's just on me. That's just on me. Is that Khalil Mack? No, what do I say? Khalil <laughs> Mack doesn't even play here. Denzel Perriman with the pick. That was that was terrible. I don't really know. I just The play action, I got off of it, and I was just, yeah, I just was under pressure right away. I should have just stayed in the pocket, though, because we probably had, was that Farrell Brown through the middle there? Unfortunately, he just panicked. The pressure just got to me. I tried to just heave one to Damian Pierce, who unfortunately just stopped on his route for some reason. But yeah, terrible decision making by me. And with plays like that, our interceptions are always going to be more than our touchdowns because that is just stupid. That is just actually stupid. Renfro, second and eight now. Another passing play by the Raiders here. And we looks like we get some pressure. Give me that. What are you doing? I Oh my God. <laughs> I accidentally switched off of it, but I switched back. And I was spamming Y and freaking swatted it. That should have been the easiest pick of my life. You've got to be kidding me right now. That is ne we're, ne we're never falling for play action here. It's got to be out of bounds, right? Stingley, make a play, baby. What a play. Three and out for the Raiders, though. But remember, my defense was on fire to start off the last game, too. So hopefully we can just keep this pressure coming. Terrible way to start off this game offensively with an interception. But luckily for us, the defense comes through. Second and six now running some counter for Damian Pierce. And I mean, like, the pressure, like, there's three Raiders in my backfield before I can even hand the ball off. Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Mechie on a goal route here, see if he can beat his man off release. I might just heave up to him. That's just well off. Under pressure. Not a great drive from us. Not great at all. First and ten, Raiders deciding to run the ball for the first time today. And Josh Jacobs gets him about seven. And a big third and two now. If we could start off this game with two, three and outs, that would be some good momentum for our team. As Devontae Adams motioning inside there. Derek Carr in shotgun. Josh Jacobs just gets open in the flat. Was just too worried about Devontae Adams there. But at the same time, if I went to Josh Jacobs, then Devontae Adams is wide open. And vice versa, which we saw. Josh Jacobs gets the run. I got stuck on a block. Second and one. They're going to hand this one off to Renfro. I can tell. We're there all day. We're there all day. Tried to lay the hit stick on him, but he evaded it. But we now got ourselves another third and two. Might be four down territory for Las Vegas, though. So we'll see how we can cope with them. Looks like it's going to be a run with Waller motioning inside like that. We're here all day long. Get him down. We get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Fourth and two now. What does Josh McDaniels do? Looks like they're going to punt here. I'm going to be wary with Eric Murray here just in case anything happens. We're there, you know. What we need to do is get Chandler Jones out of the zone. He needs 20 yards allowed, and he'll be out of it. Kenyon Green, good block there, but just not much to go forward. Second and seven now. I don't know what's going on with my route, bro. What is going on? <laughs> my main read was John Mechie, number 88 on the right side there. And look at this. What is this? What are we doing? <laughs> Literally just trucks him over and then nothing was open as well. So I had nowhere to throw it. Luckily, we got it away. But John Mechie had so much room and freaking Brevin Jordan just tackles him. What are we doing, guys? We need to get on the same page here because things are not looking great right now. Luckily for us, our defense is stepping up, and it is still 0-0. Brevin Jordan, just come down with it, please. He does. Oh, my God, what a catch. Fresh set of downs now after a big first down gain. Just find my boy Brevin Jordan once again here on a play that kind of got broken up, but Brevin Jordan still manages to give me a first down. Great pass under pressure there by Davis Mills. We just need to get in the red zone or get in their 10 so we can start handing it off to Damian Pierce because right now I, I can't run, bro. Third and 12 now, we're probably comfortably out of field goal range, which is kind of pain. Elijah Moore on the sideline. It's a beautiful ball by Davis Mills and a huge gain for the first down. Let's go. He's frozen. Elijah, you good? First and 10 now. We got John Mechie through the middle. It's a good grab by him. I was looking at Elijah Moore there because the safety was starting to step up, but Mechie was open. Let's take the yards. First and 10 now on the 10. Can we get a first down? Who really knows? Chris Conley. He actually gets like I'm not gonna lie with you guys I kind of wanted him to go down on the one there so we could have just hammered it in with Damian Pierce but you know what a touchdown is a touchdown at the end of the day we want to win the game 
or would I rather have Damien Pierce be superstar? I don't, I honestly don't know. <laughs> because for the future of the franchise series, Damien Pierce going up to a superstar right now, as early as it is, would be incredible. Would really be, but you know what, Chris Conley? That man's the GOAT, so he deserves one. Defense has looked good so far. Let's keep it up, boys. Let's keep it up. Waller, Renfro, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs. It's a lot to cover, but we're doing a good job right now, and Josh Jacobs is somehow still up. Second and sixth, another passing play here. We're on Renfro all day, but the other Renfro lookalike is wide open. <laughs> it's Cole Beasley. That's literally the third evolution of the slot receivers. The, the evolution chart is Cole Beasley, Hunter Renfro, and then the final evolution, Cooper Cup. <laughs> A team with all three of them would simply be unstoppable. And it looks like the Raiders are trying to do that. They got two of the three. Oh, it's a great catch there by Foster Moreo. First and ten now. Raiders passing the ball once again here. We're all... Mm, we unfortunately couldn't get there in time with Christian Harris. But we get him down for only a gain of one. Big third and six. They're still out of field goal range here. So a stop would be very, very nice for this defense. And the momentum as a whole. Third and six. Derek Carr electing to pass. Renfro just gets open. It's a fumble, though. Huge hit from the safety. Was that Grant Delpit? Oh, my God. It's Stingley that recovers it. Who hit Renfro there because you laid him out. And you know what? Renfro fumbled twice last weekend against the Cardinals. And he gets another one. He's getting loose. See the replay here is he had a ton of space to work with, but we're running downhill with Grant Delpit. And that is not a sight any receiver in the league wants to see. Let's go. Big turnover. Get the ball in the 32 now. And let's see what we can do with Damian Pierce. There's his big first game. Somehow gets tackled like that. Another first. Yep. Okay. Second and 13. Elijah Moore. That's a dime. He drops it. It's actually just great defense by whoever that DB was because... We had that. We had that. I was looking at Mechie down down deep there, but Elijah Moore had a few a, a bit of space. I think I just threw it maybe a little too late there, which is unfortunate. Elijah Moore though, open again. Oh. We're just gonna sit down. <laughs> First and ten now. Hopefully we can get a few easy yards here with Damian Pierce. We actually have some good blockers out wide. Kenyon Green did nothing though. Second and three, running a little counter here, and we get great blocking and great space to work with Damian Pierce. He's starting to heat up now. First and ten, gonna hit. N never mind. Second down now, and Lermy Tunsil just loses his block right away, bro. I don't understand. Like, I do not have a second to even run the ball, which is so frustrating. But now we got a third and ten. See what we can cook up here. Elijah Moore on the outside actually goes up and grabs it. And now begs the question, on a fourth and four on their 16, I think we might go for this. We might be aggressive. The offense has been playing pretty well so far, bar a stupid mistake from me. This might be a risky decision, but let's try to get the first down. Let's try to get the first down. Door set. Should be a first down, right? And it is. Oh my god, I actually got a little scared there. Thank god. Let's go. I was a little late on his read, so I was looking at John Mechie in the middle, but he was pretty covered as well. And can we get our... Dude, oh my god. It would just be nice to get any sort of blocking at all, man. Oh my god, Brevin Jordan. Brevin Jordan is different. That is an unbelievable play by Davis Mills and Brevin Jordan. Holy crap. Right when I passed that, I was like, oh no, this could be a pick. I was pretty, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we were under pressure by Max Crosby as well, which is the last thing any quarterback wants to see. Throws it a little inaccurate, but Brevin Jordan just gets there and manages to keep the ball and just trucks the defender like it's nothing. Gets me another touchdown, and we are up 14-0 but I want to get Damian Pierce a superstar. <laughs> Minute and 35 to go. Now the Raiders offense has not looked too great and our defense has been making big plays as well. Waller just goes down. First and 10 now, Waller through the middle. We got the middle pretty covered here. Luckily for us, Derek Carr overthrew Moreo a ton because that boy was open. That boy was pretty open there on the sideline. Second and 10 now with the clock stopped. Christian Harris is getting usered, of course, and through the middle is Devontae Adams. User Delpit were manned up on Waller who's making some big catches here on this drive for them. And I just got stuck on the defender there, man. That's actually... There's nothing I can really just do there. Like, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. I was there. I save tackled. I did everything I could to get him down. It just doesn't work. Ooh. Ooh. 50 seconds to go. Let's see if we can just get any points on the board here. Would be nice. Mechie through the middle. It's a massive gain right away. Let's call our first timeout. We're almost in field goal range already. After that wonderful return by Philip Dorsett. Can't forget about that. 
Roughing the pass. Brevin Jordan is unbelievable. He catches everything. Is it going to be roughing? It's actually roughing the passer as well. Okay, we can get some big yardage here and potentially get ourselves six. Already on the 14. First and 10. Let's try to give it to the main man. Damian Pierce on a screen pass. Can we get some blockers out wide? I should have probably went out more wide there. I'm actually going to run hurry up here and conserve these two timeouts and see what we can do. Let's run the ball. Let's throw them off. They don't think we're running. They don't think we're running. They don't... This is ridiculous, bro. Third and four. I'm actually going to hand this one off to Damian Pierce as well. Dude, you have got to be kidding me, Jason Britt, man. The design was perfect. Everything was perfect here. Look at this. Look at how much room I have with Kenyon Green and Brevin Jordan out there. That maybe could be a touchdown. And Jason Britt just lets go of the defensive tackle immediately. Like, I, I don't understand, bro. Unfortunately, we do not come away here with seven points, but a field goal is a field goal. Did not even expect to get points at all here. So, honestly, happy about that and to take a double-digit lead going into the second half. Second half is on its way. The Raiders are starting off with a pass here, and it's almost a pick by Blake Cashman. You know what? Where's Jonathan Grenard? Okay, actually, I accidentally chose Blake Cashman, but we get through here and... Once again, Derek Carr overthrows Devontae Adams, leading to a third down now. Might bring the house a little bit. Let's move Sherfield inside. And let's use her. Let's use her Christian Harris, who's going to be manned up on Josh Jacobs here. Can we pick that? Oh, my God. It's amazing pressure, though. I believe that's Jonathan Grenard. So maybe even if the sack numbers aren't there, the pressure definitely is. And that's what matters. And we all know what's coming. Second half, Damian Pierce is a different beast. And would you look at this? Would you look at this dude? Him in the second half is just different. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know why. He just takes something in the locker room that just makes him go crazy. It's that special juice. That special something that nobody else has. Dude, this... Wait a second. I think AJ can't still in. Oh my... AJ can't get out of here. Third and three. Gonna actually run it again here. Hopefully we get some good blocking by Kenyon Green and we do. First down. Chandler Jones hurt is massive for us. Okay. Actually, huge in us being able to run as well, not having to worry about him. And he was in the zone in the first half, like, right away. But now with him gone, hopefully we can make some magic happen, Damian Pierce. Another five. Oh, no. Not Brevin Jordan, bro. Oh, it looks bad. It looks bad. And now Quatoriano is in. If you know, you know. That's all I got to say, man. Very tough scenes out here. You know what? Quatoriano. Okay. Oh my god, big gap, big gap. Unfortunately, number 50 just gets away from the block, but still good yardage. Second and three, this one's straight. Chris Conley, dude. And it's an abdominal tear for Brevin Jordan. Will not be able to return for this game. We are just getting injuries like crazy now. Without Brevin Jordan, who's been my safety blanket in this game, it's going to be tough, but luckily for me, Farrell Brown is the backup, and he's ready to step up. I believe from Oregon as well. Let's go Ducks. Second and nine now, though. Mechie through the middle. Pretty open. I was hoping to get maybe to the two or to the one there or to the four. Can we finally do the impossible? <laughs> Can we get Damian Pierce his first rushing? Like, what am I what, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to give him the ball every time here because we need him to get touchdowns. We're not going to get the yards. We're not even close to that. Get to the two. We're, we're, we're that much closer. Third and go now. I just got to pray the line lets me go in. Damien Pierce, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And we need just two more this game to get him to the superstar. That's honestly my main goal. We're doing well right now in the lead, 24-7-2 on the 1-4 Raiders. But I really want this Damien Pierce breakout more than anything. First and 10 on the fresh new drive. Just getting that guy in the middle there. Christian Harris, massive tackle. And now, jo what is going on? What is going on? The injuries are coming in like crazy, bro. Nico Collins, Desmond King. What is that? Christian Kirk, he got hurt last game. Brevin Jordan now. And now Jonathan Grenard. Like, what is going on, bro? Josh Jacobs runs straight through the middle. First down. Hip bursitis? Bers bers I, 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 don't have, I have no idea what that is, I'll be honest. Second and six. Another handoff to Josh Jacobs, who absolutely stiff arms a man. My God, he's still up somehow. I let go of my controller because we had like three guys on him, and he just he just kept on going. He just kept on going third and one. They're actually passing now. Can we get there? We can't, and it's actually an incomplete pass. On the 49, they're opting to punt. Even down 17 points here in the end of the third quarter. Questionable decision by Josh McDaniels to not trust his offense just to get one yard, but... We take those. As we get our offense back on the field here, John Mechie on the sideline. It's a good pass by Davis Mills. Play action here. 
Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore, another big game. Come on, how about midfield now? Davis Mills, 22 for 27 for 272. Another first down, though. Mmm, we had him. Let's run for the first time this drive, see what we can do. We get... I'm so sick of Jason Britt, bro. He's actually the most useless center I have ever used. Like, this, this is ridiculous. Yeah, that was a little risky. I saw a tiny bit of space for Elijah Moore there. Tried to squeeze it in. Unfortunately, uh, it's, it was a good play by the linebacker there. I'm blaming that drive on freaking... Why is this taking so long? That's roughing the punter! That's roughing the punter! Oh my god, get there, Thomas. Thomas, why are you just... Nah, 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 nah. What was that? First of all, my punter took literally 23 seconds to punt this ball for some reason. Look at this. What? That's roughing the punter if I've ever seen it. Hello? Dove straight at my ankles. Oh my god. What? We are in Vegas, I guess, and I know which side the refs took. Second and three now. We're, we're here in the flat. Okay, I actually went... <clears throat> I mean, if I didn't go back, the slant was open anyway, so I'd, I'd rather give up that than the slant. In the fourth quarter, now on the way, is there any chance we can get this two more touchdowns with Mr. Damian Pierce? I'm not too sure, but we're going to try. We're going to feed him. We're going to do everything we can, and it's a good start with the holding run. Thank you. Second and 17, another pass here for the Raiders. Renfro open in the middle. They feed it to Josh Jacobs in the flat. It's not Josh Jacobs, no, which means we can tackle him. <laughs> and third and 11 now. I need the ball. I want the ball, and I want it right now. So let's get a stop, boys. Devontae Adams is pretty open there. Waller, Derek Carr overthrows him again. Derek Carr has been terrible this game. And now on a fourth and 11, they're going to go for this one. But they didn't go for it in midfield when it was just one yard. It doesn't make too much sense, but if we can get a stop here and get ball in this favorable of a position, that would be massive for us. It's going to be the stupid... Oh my god, what is that, man? That, <laughs> that is so stupid. That's just classic all Madden cheese where they just have... The quarterbacks just have legit, no exaggeration, 15, sec 15 seconds in the pocket to think. And just some guy just comes back and is going to be wide open every time. That is the most frustrating thing. When you literally clamp everything. And Waller has caught like nine of these in the flat. First and 10 now, Raiders in our red zone. Josh Jacobs is a great play by the defense. Second and eight now, Raiders into our red zone. Six minutes and 30 seconds to go. They're just milking clock even though they're down, which is annoying for me because I really want this breakout, bro. Like, what are they doing? Like, they've barely taken any chances just in the flat over and over and over again. Third and eight now, though. And it's a big sack from Christian Harris, which is now a fourth and 15, and they gotta go for it as well. So let's get this defense in line, and let's get a stop here, boys. No cheese again, please. Just get some pressure if he gets that much time again, man. The middle is covered. The middle is covered. Just swat it, just swat it. Pick that? Oh, I don't know how you didn't pick that, but it's probably a better thing you didn't pick that. Damian Pierce, please, can we just get a breakout run? Ow. Literally just cannot go anywhere. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go out of bounds as well to stop the clock. Okay. Nice little big run there. And Damian Pierce again here. Okay, come on. Yes, I am running. Hurry up. My players are probably dying, though. I won't lie. Damian Pierce again. Oh my god. Damian. No. Okay, I want to check out how many yards he's at now. What did he need? 150? Yeah, we're only at 93. Does he have any receiving yards? He's got, he's got 11, so just at about 100. Third and two, and we get some great blocking. Damian Pierce again. I'm wondering if I could do just it with yards now. Honestly, it's looking quite good. Let's, oh no, I think Mostert's in. No, no, it's still Damian Pierce. Dude, what is this? Okay. Dude, Davis Mills, bro. Guys, I want this so bad. I don't think you even understand. Unfortunately, Damian Pierce is a little tired now, so let's just try to get some yardage here. Farrell Brown. Actually, he gets tackled on the two as well. I was trying to go out of bounds on the one. I won't lie, but he gets tackled. <laughs> and we really need Damien. He's just not in. He's too tired, bro. No. What do I do? Okay, wait. We can get him on a halfback stretch here. Yep, he's in. Okay, come on. First and goal on the two. Damien Pierce. Come on, baby. Give me some good blocking, boys. Give me some good blocking, boys. You've got to be kidding. Second ago, he did give me a yard, though, to be fair. Damien Pierce. Damien Pierce. Damien Pierce. Oh, my God. One more touchdown or, like, 40 more yards. Can we do this? Can we do this? We need this. We need the defense to step up. I don't even care that I'm winning 31 to 7 right now against the Las Vegas Raiders. I really just want this breakout, bro. We're smacking them. What is going on? 
<laughs> Good bounce back though, boys. Let's go. Maybe I should have even onsided it. I don't know, but I'm going to do everything I can here. I will use timeouts for them if they need timeouts. I'll do everything to get the anything to get the ball back and get it in Damien Pierce's hands. What a bounce, please. Thank you, Josh. You know who's been extremely quiet today? Devontae Adams. We've barely ever even seen him. He's maybe gotten, what, three to four targets, if even that. Honestly, we have not seen too much of him. Got everything covered here. Oh, if we could have got a pick there and I run it back to the one and get Damian Pierce a touchdown. Oh my God. That's what dreams are made of. That, that is what dreams are made of. Third and seven now though. Come on. Come on, everything's covered here. Can we get a fumble? Derek Carr just throws it away, fourth down. Fourth and seven. Get there, Del Pitt. No, no. We needed that one. We needed that one bad. I won't lie. That one hurts. And once again, dude, this flat has been targeted, I think, 12 times this game. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Lay it on him. Lay it on him. Time is ticking, man. This is so annoying, bro. The Raiders are just... I, I don't know what they're doing. Derek Carr is just... Oh, I'll throw it in the fly. Yeah, I'll throw it in the fly again. I'll throw it in the fly again. Yeah, bro, we're getting smacked by 24, but... Oh, there's another completion for six yards. Like, dude, you're down. You're getting smacked. Look at this. Every time, bro. At least get him out of bounds. Dude, why wouldn't you go out of bounds, Waller? Oh, my God. This is so frustrating. I just want the ball back. That is all. I just want the ball back. Look at this. <laughs> you know what? Oh, actually... Oh, oh. Just let him go in. Let him go in, honestly. Let him go in. <laughs> I actually went to go tackle him there, but I got, I got stuck anyway. But at the same time, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. They have no way of coming back this game. So we should be good here. They're going for two. So Derek Carr can stat pad even more. And he gets sacked by number 53. I think, that, yeah, that's Blake Cashman, baby. Let's go. No, they actually are on siding here. You're down by so much, dude. What are you doing? Um, Just go down, please. Just go down, please. We got three timeouts. Minute 30 left. Come on, Damian Pierce. Okay, so I have, what am I doing? Oh, I'm in def chart, hello? <laughs> so right now, Damien Pierce is at 102 yards and then 11 yards there, so only 113. I don't know if we could do yards, man. I'll try maybe a run or two at first, see if we can break away potentially. And it's looking, nah, not much, not much. I'm just gonna go out of bounds and save a timeout. I'm just gonna try to get, let's just try to get big yardage here so we can get on the one. Oh, they're blitzing. They're bl you have got to be kidding me, bro. Oh, this is beyond frustrating. Beyond frustrating. Davis Mills. Oh, my God, Davis Mills. Oh, my God, Davis Mills. What a pass to Farrell Brown. Why are you... You're losing my fit. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Almost in the red zone now as well. Can we get Farrell Brown here? Can we get Farrell Brown here? Oh my god. Oh my god, boys. Boys, boys, boys. We're on the two. We're on the two. This is, this is better than winning the game, bro. Come on. Damian Pierce goes from zero touchdowns in five games and in his breakout game in week seven against the Raiders. Gets three. Completes his superstar breakout scenario. Oh my god. That was so tense. So tense. And we're beating the Raiders 38-13. That is crazy. That really is crazy, but they are 1-4. I don't know why, but they're so bad. I mean, we're watching it today. They just they don't look threatening at all on offense. They have Devontae Adams. Don't use Devontae Adams. Their car has just been throwing it in the flat to Darren Waller all game long, and we've taken advantage of that. Our defense has been well. We did our film study, and we we held them to only 13 points. First and 10, they're running. They have, they have surrendered. They have surrendered. Okay, but now they're passing. And when you, when you look at Derek Carr... <laughs> <laughs> and they call it <laughs> what am I want? Like make up your mind, bro. Devontae Adams gets targeted for once, but guess what? He's getting clamped. Maybe that's why he's not getting targeted. Because we got Steven Nelson on him. And that's that's clamps all day long. He hasn't been able to get any sort of separation at all here. I'm gonna use her Delp it here. Actually, are they gonna run? Nope, it's a play action. It's a play action. Uh, 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 five yards to Darren Waller. Yeah. Time out, guys, time out. Just end this game! The only thing that would make me feel better right now is if I can get a pick. If I can just pick off Darren Waller. That would feel so good. <laughs> he overthrows him again, bro. Oh, my God. There's been like six or seven of those. This is actually unreal. Looks like they're going deep here. <laughs> this is genuinely just hilarious at this point. I'm going to use her. Let's use her Delp. Or, okay, I guess I'm stuck on Peachy now. We'll go with Devontae Adams, though. He ain't getting nowhere. He, oh, 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 oh. 
Petrie, come on, Jalen. And they do all that to punt the ball with 14 seconds left. Jesus, man. Kill their punter. Kill their punter. You remember what they did to our punter earlier? And let's run one last play by the new superstar, Damien. You know what? Huh? You know what? Hopefully I uh, don't throw a pick here with one second left. That would be tough. You know, I'm just going to feed Yanovich. We're just going to take yards. Call me Derek Carr. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a game, though. What a game. That game had everything. Honestly, we smacked the Raiders. Like, their offense was so bad. Our defense was really good, though. But our offense was also excellent. Putting up 38 points. And the superstar breakout scenario for Damian Pierce, our franchise running back. It was completed. What a performance by the entire squad today. Davis Mills, 26 for 35. Had himself a 113.4 QBR there for 355 yards. Two touchdowns and one pick. That was so bad. That was all my fault. Davis Mills did his thing, though. Absolutely did his thing. Derek Carr, this game made me absolutely despise Derek Carr. <laughs> but, of course, the main man, we ran him into the absolute ground today. But he got the job done. 34 carries. 115 yards, 3.3 a carry, but he went from zero touchdowns on the season to three when we needed him most. Darren Waller had 12 catches for 129, Josh Jacobs as well, but our team, Elijah Moore, who we wanted to get more involved in this game, he had doubled the receptions from last week as well as 100 yards, still trying to find him in the end zone for his uh, first touchdown for the Texans, but he had a great game and was our best receiver. Farrell Brown, who actually came in for the injured Brevin Jordan and actually put up a ton of yards, four receptions for 87 yards in just the second half as well. What a game from him. John Mechie, 58 yards, Brevin Jordan, who, man, we cannot, we cannot have him be hurt for more than, what, two, three weeks because he's been so vital for our offense. But, eh, Farrell Brown was actually decent as well. Chris Conley had himself a touchdown early on as well. Shout out Katoriano. <laughs> and I don't think we let up a sack today. Shout out to Makai Becton for the pancake as well. We love to see it. Christian, or no, it's Grant Elpit that led the way for tackles made with eight there. And then Christian Harris with seven. Tackle for losses, two for the linebackers with Kirksey and Christian Harris. And then sacks, we only had one, and it was Christian Harris, the man that does everything. No picks today. I think we, we had had that fumble though in the er, in the early parts of the game and it was Grant Delpit who caused it yeah let's go <laughs> let's go ahead and of course check out Damian Pierce's breakout you see Damian Pierce I didn't know he had that type of talent we asked him to carry the offense this week and he delivered he's an absolute stud and is now super star development that is incredible and amazing for the future of this franchise i cannot stress that enough and that 4k xp don't hurt either you know but unfortunately with good news comes some bad news as well with one new injury picked up here and this one is going to be for brevin jordan who's out three weeks which is tough but it could have been a lot worse it could have been a lot worse we get nico collins back in five weeks and then desmond king luckily for us is recovering from his broken ribs it's going to be back next week however episode six of texans franchise will now be coming to an end really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode a ton of fun a big game where we smacked the raiders who are just struggling right now and are not clicking at just a one in five record and we get our third win of the season there unfortunately still bottom of the division but next week week eight we got the tennessee titans for the first time this year and whoever wins that game will be on the bottom so we're looking to leapfrog them that should be great we completed the superstar breakout as well with damien pierce which i couldn't be any more happier about for him to go up to superstar is so big for us man so big and um that's gonna be it for me hope you guys did enjoy though take care peace